Hi ladies, it's Nanny. Are you ready for another chatty get ready with me? A few new Amazon hauls and a great book that I want to share with you that I think you'll enjoy. So come on, grab a cup of coffee, join me. I haven't finished doing my makeup yet this morning. I haven't finished putting my earrings on. I haven't finished my nail polish. So I'm in a rush because I found out that Moosey might be coming home this week, early this week. And I'm rushing around. I'm, I've done so much decorating that I haven't done much cleaning or, or picking up. Uh, living as a kind of a bachelor, it's so far as the cottage goes i've been having so much fun fixing it up but now it's maintenance time not only on me but on the little cottage thank heavens for my dyson too so i thought i would do all this with you but this might be a shorter one why do i always say that it's, i just keep blathering on and it never turns out to be short but i've already put my castor oil on remember i said i ran out of castor oil and I thought I had another one, but I couldn't find it. Well, in my uh, trying to pick up and go through boxes and little tubs and plastic bins, I did find the extra castor oil that I had gotten. So I put that on this morning. I put that on already. And I have put my e.l.f. primer also on. So that's all I have on right now. Um, so I'll finish up the, the blush and and my eyes. I talked to Moosey this morning and uh, he might be having some PT, but he's out of clean clothes and I had a big wash this week of a lot of things for him that I have to take back, but I didn't know how when he was come, going to be getting out, so I didn't know how much I had to bring back, but he does need clothes and I'm going to have a visit with him tomorrow and um, Matthew might meet me there and say hi to dad as well. And then I'm going down to Matthew's house to visit with the family. The Maybelline City Mini uh, that I order and only use the two colors on the end here, the very light colors that I finally settled on that I think are my best colors. And once again, for some reason or other, two of them came in the mail the day before yesterday. So now I have a backup of this and I'm not going down to the metal on these. But in my going through all my stuff, I did notice that I had picked up at some point and forgotten about it. One of the little tiny ones. And these are the exact same shades that I use. And I don't use all the other colors in here. So lucky me, I have three sets of what I use. So um, I'm going to try and do brushes today. So I will start with the, the darker color and tap and go back and forth. And I have a little mirror here. Do you notice the nail polish? I'm gonna finish it up. It's a pretty blue, isn't it? And I thought it would match my shirt. And by the way, my shirt today, which I love, and I'm gonna put this down a little bit so you see it. Do you see what it says? I hope it comes out, not backwards. It says manifest happiness. And I just happened to see it, which is what we've been talking about lately, not getting into anything deep or scientifically based or um, away from the spiritual side of lifting our spirits. Uh, manifesting just means to make it happen, let it go, show it. And I love this. I also got Colleen the same shirt. I, actually, I found it in big lots, $16. And it's a very light sweatshirt. I guess you call it. It's not fleece. It's just a light uh, kind of a woven cotton and it's nice and loose. And I just love it. And since Colleen is a therapist, I didn't know whether you knew that about Colleen. Uh, she has her master's and working on her hours. I think she has a thousand or two thousand. She has about 20 clients and has been working with clients for a year now. She works for uh, a lovely lady, uh, a doctor, a woman who adores her, as you can imagine. And she started the uh, a new branch of, of clients 
And since Colleen uh, was a teacher and worked so well with children and has the perfect personality for working with kids, now she has something like 14 or 15 teenagers that she sees. Some of them she sees in person, but most of them she has to wait till they get out of school and uh, pretty much Zooms from two o'clock or three o'clock on until 5.30 or six. And, and now she does have adults too. I think she has seven or eight adults. So she's doing well. And she promised me that she would come on and share some of her, um, just some of her knowledge. Now here's where the fun starts, right? Oops, I feel I got it on the lid already. Let me just put this on and you'll see the results later. I'll try and do a good job. Now I haven't checked it yet. <laughs> because I have to put my glasses on to see how it came out. So we'll see in a minute if I have to uh, go into my bathroom mirror and the big light and see how it is with the glasses. Um, I think I did okay, I'm not sure. Uh, as you know, I fill in a little bit in here. I think it's getting a little bit better. This is the old Elf blush, Sparkling Rose. So since I'm uh, using this this, which we'll see, I think I can, it's worn down. Uh, my new one is in the bathroom. So let's see if this works. I'm gonna look in my, I've rubbed it on here. Is anything coming out? I think we are. Good. So we're putting the blush on with this. Now I better go back to my concealer because I'm sure that I didn't get all my boo-boos on my cheeks and everything. I always seem to go too heavy here. And you know, I forgot to put it up here before I did my little here to give it some highlight. And normally I go around here. Maybe it's not so bad this time for some reason or other. Why I still find it so much easier to use my fingers. Across here. I don't think my, uh, my mind is on makeup today. Huh? Moosey mostly on my mind. He really is ready to come home. <clears throat> uh, I think he's he's getting restless now. And I think if he were home, I'd be able to keep track of more time keeping him out of the bed. You know, lots of times in these um, nursing homes, once they get their PT done and everything else, a lot of the times they put them back in the bed Moosey is, is not totally mobile. He, he won't be, I don't think. Um, uh, but, but at least he'll be able to get back on his row later. Let's see what this one does. This is definitely not my dark one. But it does have a chrome effect on it. And I like that. So what have I not done yet? I've not rubbed in the eyes. I know a lot of you said you like watching me put makeup on. Um, I hope you do. So I'll do it every once in a while. Maybe it's too often. Let me know. You know, maybe it gets boring after a while. With me, it's different every time anyway. So maybe there's a bit of variety in it. Okay, time for the shine stick. This is not my, lube, my new Palladio though, but that seemed to work well uh, this time. And I think a lot of you ladies bought it through the Palladio website. Okay, here we go. You know the drill, ladies. Oop, down the nose, down here. And then as Colleen said, mom, don't forget to blend. So we will blend. Now I'm gonna finish these up. So what was I talking about, Moosey? I went outside and took a picture of a machine that um, I ordered for him when he comes home. And it's a motorized bike. And it also has uh, some connections that if I lift it up and put it on a table in front of him, he can exercise his arms. So, um, so in that case, I looked in the box while well, I didn't op open it up because it's, um, it's a little heavy, but what, <laughs> I guess so, I need somebody to put it together. I, you know, I'm kind of handy. I have my own toolbox and, and uh, there's certain things I can do. 
and other things that for the time that it might take me to do, um, I have great kids, sons and grandsons, and um, these kids can help me. So, or my sons can. So since tomorrow I'm going down to see Matthew, I think I'll just bring the box down in the back of the car and have Matthew put it together while we're visiting. And um, this, this goes on really nice. This is a, a very reasonable, oh, it's a, it's a gel or, you know, sometimes it's LA, LA colors. And it was a reasonable um, nail polish. Sometimes they say gel or gel-like, so you don't really know whether you're getting a true gel. I was never a big salon person anyway. Um, I cut my own hair, I do my own feet and nails, always have, and um, uh, I don't get my hair done usually whenever I, well, in the old days when I used to get it colored, I, I colored my own hair too. Not because I, I, I didn't want to go, it was all, every once in a while I'd go with my daughters for a, just fun because we'd all sit there. Maybe before a wedding or something, we'd all go, we'd drink champagne and have our feet done and we laughed and that was fun. But to have it done regularly, I can do it. So why go? I think it looks just as well. So the color matches my Manifest Happiness shirt today. I did a hairdo a little bit differently today. Um, I've had my curls all tightly um, put in and not combed through for the last two days. I think the last video, it was that way where I had them up on top of my head. But this morning I brushed everything out and I used some of my dry shampoo, sprayed it in and it fluffs it out. Do you like it? Do you see the way I've turned the sides in? With longer hair, it's a little bit better for um, uh, doing different hairdos. Tell me if you like this one. Or do you still like it up? Or all the way down? Might be getting a little bit long for that. A lot of you loved the cigar story. Wasn't that funny? I mean, the, the pictures told the story. It wasn't so much me telling the story. It was the pictures. Those guys are so cute. And, and they didn't make Moosey feel bad about it or anything. I think they had as much fun with with the cigars if they had smoked them and probably better for their health that they didn't too. Um, thank God they've turned out to be such great kids. They're all successful. They worked hard. They had jobs when they were, you know, they knew the value of working hard. Oh, you probably wouldn't recognize me. Oh, there you go. You're whipping with that ice. So what's the matter with your mask? You cut it when you wake Cut it. What happened? You cut it. I cut it yeah, with a razor? With a razor. How much are they going to find you? $14,000. Oh, my God. If they catch me and they're all around. <laughs> I better get another one quick. Well, you look gorgeous again. How about that haircut, ladies? I Turn sideways. Know. You Let can me call see. me McHottie if Let you want. Let me see. Say goodbye. Adios. Goodbye, my love. I forgot to tell you, I was talking with my daughter Jub last night, and um, we chat almost every day. And she has a wedding coming up tonight, and one of her her best friends' daughters is getting married. And Dub had a complete hip operation uh, just about eight weeks ago, maybe nine weeks ago, and. Um, She's doing beautifully. And her doctor said, absolutely no heels yet. So Dub said, how do you go to a lovely wedding and not wear heels? You know, hubby hates flats and blah, blah, blah. 
She has this beautiful dress that she wore to Molly's wedding, her daughter's wedding, sort of a beautiful gray chiffon with a cape effect and everything. She went shopping yesterday. She sent me a picture last night of a shoe that she finally decided on and brought home. And it's totally um, off the wall, something you would never think that you would wear with a beautiful chiffon dress. And the dress is short, it's uh, above the knee. I took a picture of it because I wanted to show you. It's a fabulous shoe. I, number one, it's filled with bling. The studs all over it look like steel studs, but they're really rhinestones. And it is a form of a tennis shoe. It's knit, it's a soft knit. She said it's so comfortable. And she picked this, the color is sort of a grayish with these rhinestones all over it in a tennis shoe. And she's gonna wear that with her dress. Good for Deb. She thinks out of the box too. Anyway, I thought I'd send you the shoe. She bought it in Macy's. Uh, it's a Kenneth Cole shoe. It was originally $89 and she got it on sale, I think for $62. And it's a great shoe. You could wear this with jeans. It would spark up your jeans. You could wear it with anything. You might not wear, wanna wear it with a chiffon dress, but. I thought you'd enjoy looking at those shoes. Go to Macy's. I might even get a pair, they're so cute. Also, when I went into the bathroom after I did all my filming, I realized that I never did um, blend all my little dots on the cheek here. I can never get through a video with perfect makeup. I don't know, there's always something that's off. So the, the magazine, that I was talking about is is put out by Time, and I presume it's Time Magazine. And you can buy it in the grocery stores. I found it up front where they keep the magazines. And it's called The Power of Positive Thinking, Why Attitude Matters. And there's a series of, of um, chapters in here that, that are, are they pertain to anyone from teenagers, young kids, all the way up to mature aging adults. And um, I think this was more, uh, more relevant to me to read these articles. And each article is written by someone and it's about optimism and attitude and um, thinking about the future and how to deal with trying times and how your outlook affects your longevity and and your attitude just a great magazine and and i would i would say that this goes along with what we're what we're trying to capture ourselves one of the big things that i picked up from this book which i knew anyway was those of you who are still raising kids or those of you who are grandmas that are still involved with young children, you have to teach your children to live the same way, to love themselves, to be uh, self-confident, to um, try things and to realize that if you fail, at least you've tried and you can try again. And um, you have to get your children to believe that they can do whatever they want in life. And um, I, it was a principle that, that I did with our children. To make progress, we need to be able to imagine alternative realities, better ones. And we need to believe that we can achieve them. So many great quotes through here. Um, teaching children positivity through realistic eyes, not um, magical pie in the sky type things. So um, just, just get it, really. This is wonderful. Now let me read you some of the quotes uh, in here. So it's put out by Time Magazine, and I highly recommend that you, you all get a copy of it because it's easy to read and it's realistic. Instant inspiration is this particular chapter. And I love the first quote that starts off is a quote from Helen Keller. And she says, 
Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. And that's Helen Keller as an older woman. Lucille Ball. I love these quotes from people that we all know. One of the things that I learned the hard way was that it doesn't pay to get discouraged. Keeping busy and making optimism a way of life can restore your faith in yourself. And that's Lucy. I love Lucy. Now over here, we have Sonia Sotomayor. I have never had to face anything that could overwhelm the native optimism and stubborn perseverance that I was blessed with. And there she is. So these are successful people in their own fields and, and, and how they feel uh, mostly about optimism and getting discouraged and how to keep on plugging along. Margaret Trudeau. Here we go. And here she is. There's a picture of Margaret as a younger person. We can choose to wake up and grumble all day and be bitter and angry and judge others and find satisfaction in others doing bad instead of good. Or we can wake up with optimism and love and say, just what is this beautiful day going to bring me? I love that. Kerry Washington, the beautiful actress, I believe. She says, I believe in positive thinking and affirmative living. So pick up a copy of this and, and read this for yourself. Honestly, I've got to get back to some sane living before Moosey comes home because he won't be able to adjust to my, my ways that I've picked up living alone is so haphazard. And I wonder if you kind of do that. I'll eat at three or four or five. Um, and, and then don't eat again. I might fall asleep, wake up at eight, be awake until two, sleep a couple hours. It's crazy. And I know Lucy is not going to be able to live with me if I continue like this. I have a really nice video coming up that I think you'll enjoy. And it goes along with the idea of loving ourselves and, uh, perhaps perhaps living, being a little better to ourselves and, and pampering ourselves. You know, Mikey visited us a couple weeks ago. I think I mentioned they, they were up to see um, a Broadway show at the Pantages. And so they stopped in on, they went to see Hamilton. They stopped in to see me on their way home. Moosey was not here, he was in the nursing home. And um, we were talking about my um, some of the money that I've saved from my teaching and, and various other little things that I've done in my life and how we, we used to take cruises and, and, um, we did things. We used to go out to dinner and, and now that we're older and our, uh, situation has changed as to what we can do and what we can't do. And we've lived very frugally, uh, through the past year and a half, almost two years, Mikey said, you know, do something, something luxurious with your life. Just something, buy yourself something that you need or, or you don't need, you want something that you think you'd enjoy either for the house or for yourself. And he said, just, just do it. <laughs> In fact, he said, get a house cleaner out here now, mom. He said, send me the bill. You know, he, he arrived at a time when I was cleaning things up and, and going through sorting. That's my biggest thing, trying to do a little bit of purging now that the weather's starting to cool. So I had purge piles around. <laughs> but, oh, the kids are great. They really are. But you know what? I thought about that. And, and um, material things... Although our happiness comes from um, spiritual things or internal things, family, feelings. Um, but, but on the other hand, material things, whether they're for your cottage, your garden, yourself, uh, your husband, they matter. 
and they do lift your spirits too. So maybe in the next video or two, it might be two, I don't know yet, but I think you'll enjoy it. So thank you so much once again for watching. All your comments are so great. Um, our conversations back and forth are, are wonderful. Sometimes I don't have uh, the time to, to really answer you in depth the way I want to um, and send you the personalized messages and respond to what you're telling me because you are sharing your, your feelings and your thoughts and, and I love it. And, and I hope that um, you understand if I can't always get to answering your comments right away or perhaps expanding my thoughts. I love your thumbs up. Share. Let's get some more subscribers going here. I'm almost at 25,000 subscribers. I wish they all watched consistently, but they say that's the way it goes with YouTube. I do love and appreciate you all. Until I see you again, God bless us all.